going, yes, we're we're going to talk about a What the Frack movie. Yes, this movie truly qualifies as a What the Frack film. It is Dahmer versus Gacy. Oh, yes, they went there. We have the military conducting DNA experiments by cloning serial killers and taking the DNA from the clones and combining them into their X-13 project, which is supposed to be the ultimate killer. Well, hence two of the serial killers escape. Guess who? Dahmer and Gacy clones. And they go on a mad killing spree as they make their way to the home of the doctor who created them so they can go off him for some reason or another. Meanwhile, we've got the military who's taken their experiment that they've created, X-13, and sent him out to go uh, take out Dahmer versus and Gacy both because they, they're trying to clean up their mess and not let the people know that they've been making these serial killers in a secret bunker that isn't quite so secret or doesn't really look like a bunker. But anyway, then you've got this hillbilly who has God talking to him through his broken pickup truck radio who's telling him to go kill these two serial killers and if he does, God would stop talking to him. Yes, folks, it's that type of film and <laughs> there's so many things wrong with this film. One, the subject matter. Taking two notorious, really bad serial killers and, and just, you know, things that just characters that don't sit well and that you wouldn't really want to do a movie unless you're doing a documentary on. They put them both in this film, okay? Uh, plus factors are production value. Production value in this movie is a lot higher than I thought. It's almost up there with zombie strippers, okay, as far as quality. They do these kind of mock news uh, interviews, which are pretty cool. They got a little the teletop, you know, teleprompter, uh, the scroll along the bottom, and those are pretty funny. Some cultural references in there about Vern Troyer and such. So uh, those kind of make you chuckle. And they even have a section in there with the military general who's in charge of the project kind of referencing bad movies saying, wow, this sounds like the plot of a bad film. So they're kind of poking fun, tongue-in-cheeking, making you realize they know what kind of film they're making. Unfortunately, the performances in the script just aren't quite up to the snuff, for back, lack of a better term, okay? They're just not quite there for a B-film to be tongue-in-cheek, to be that entertaining. I did have some laughs in this film, but overall, you know, I just couldn't quite get into it and buy into the film. Uh, it could have been done a lot better, you know, and they could have picked any characters. They didn't have to pick these two, and I know they did that for shock value, but in the end, that's probably what's going to turn a lot of people off from even seeing this movie, is the fact that you've got two characters that a lot of people really just, you know, they're still unsettled about them, okay? Dahmer vs. Gacy tries, tries its best to be more than it is, and in the end it kind of falls flat, though there is some great gore in there for you gore whores out there, so you may want to rent it just for that, and uh, the hillbilly himself is kind of funny, though not really needed at all, and then of course there's also ninjas. So, if those uh, show you any uh, uh, interest at all, you may want to rent it. I had to give it one and a half stubs, okay? Production value got there and I did laugh, but this movie really just isn't one of those B movies that is so bad it's good, it's just so bad it's it's there. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Ten. Until next time, keep that ticket stuff.